Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna make and learn how to make Charizard from Pokemon. And first thing first, I'm gonna make clear. I struggled for a few minutes to make his face because I didn't realize that his face is so much similar to alligators, right? You know what I mean, then you know. So what I'm gonna do here, like the first thing what I did here, I just pulled some mesh out to make his like mouth. Then I realized quickly, oh, it's almost like an alligator face. So I go in that direction then. Then once I have some like eyes, that's it then. I know what to do and how like, which way need to, like I need to go through, like how to make it. Then it was easy. Same thing, you guys might face some like other characters you wanna make, but you don't know how to do it. At some point you get hit, oh, it's not that, but you can make it anyhow. So you guys go through, right? Same thing I did here. So I would say this is the like um, most struggling part in this whole video. Once we had the phase when then we can go through like way too easy. And how do I get my face? Uh, to make it it's very simple if you understand it's uh, you have to imagine outline silhouette right if you have your outline at least in your head then the head like uh, for the sculpting parts you will be way much easier i guess so you know where to do even though you don't know the brushes how to do it you can make it out Believe me, you can make it out. That's quite easy. I find it out when I was learning ZBrush. I do have so many problems when like when I, I was facing when I was learning ZBrush, I faced so many problems. But I'll say one thing, if you guys stick to it and learn a little bit, then believe me, you guys can catch like um, advanced techniques way too easy. And here you can see I'm just uh, making face more detailed. And guys, I suggest you guys to make face first all right because i have seen so many guys who they want to make some character but uh, they rush they rush to make uh, other things like face not complete done not even a 50 percent done so they what did they do they uh, they jump for the body they jump for uh, like a hair or something else no complete your face first all right if you completed your face Believe me, you will get that confident to make the whole body like very strong. So here what I did, I just complete my face here. Then I go for my body, right? So as I told you in previous video, if you guys want to make eye look easy, like a good and easy, believe me, just keep your like um, eye socket with one eyeball. All right. Then play with the another like uh, empty eye socket to make how should i explain it? hold on let me go back if you have one eye in your one eye socket keep it that play with the another empty eye socket to make the eye socket which already have eye to look better once it's better believe me they obviously we are working in like um, symmetry right so it will get better as well as now here I tried to pull some mesh from the head itself for the, his horns, but uh, I didn't feel like it's going good. So I just add one sphere and give it, give it a shape of it. That's it, what I did here, all right? And play with the top ends. And that's it for the, the horns. That's not like a hard part to do. Now let me see what I missed here. Yeah, give it a jawline and all those things. That's fine. Uh, you can change anytime because since we are working in first, like uh, like subdivisions, we didn't add any subdivisions, so you can easily control your mesh, or I may say a face, whatever you're trying to make here. I'm just giving a like uh, with a pinch brush, with a damp center brush to just give a crisp edge at the corners for the lips, nose and eyes or all those all those places nothing like fancy nothing i'm not using heavy brushes or new tools 
is similar things which we have used in previous videos all right now you would have as you can see i just use transpose tool to make all subtools small there is a reason because i couldn't control um, the big size of uh, subtools with that brush size even though it goes to the thousand all right even though it goes a thousand you can't even control it with that so it's better to decrease the like just squeeze it down all right now for the body what i did here i just take a sphere and just reshaped it now just i'm here i'm just giving and shoulders shoulder pads basically just to define where it's gonna be like hands and how long it's gonna be so that's it mostly what i did here like okay i need to explain this first i try to give a tail from his body as you can see i couldn't do it better so what i did i just uh, go back all right i just went back to the body shape then i add z sphere with the z sphere you just need to add uh, spheres and go through what i do here that's my technique what i do i just keep one end and the last end for like for the beginning for the start and the end then i add um, like multiple uh, z spheres in between to give it a shape and this will be like you need to you know where is where it should go you can control it very easily even though i struggle here just for the reference i couldn't find it out and the for reference there is two reference today um, there is a reason for that i wanted to do black and white pose all right that concept i liked it but it doesn't have any colors right so if you want to like do color i'll say keep your reference even for colors also Dude, like guys, if you guys are doing any, 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 any new thing, keep your reference to yourself. Multiple you have, much better. If you have few, no problem. Work with it. If you can grab more reference from internet, from any other place, like for an example, you guys are doing something like custom, all right? Then they might provide you some reference. If you can get more reference, that's much better. If you have a few, try to work with it nowadays you can ha you guys can have any 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 reference on internet just have it now what i did here you can hit a for for the police like z spheres to poly mesh this is what i did here and now i'm just giving a shape like position of a head where i need to with this i can easily control my hands how long it's gonna be how lengthy it should be how should it go through like for the pose and all nothing is special for the like head to go down that's the reason what i do if you guys are following me you know i struggle at hands a little bit but uh, end of the day i achieve what i need all right you might seen like uh, in my previous videos i just make one hand completely then i go for another one since they are like uh, getting connected to each other all right they are getting like a knot so i do need to add in early stage another hand just to get the idea where it's gonna be right And let me let me do know which uh, poly, uh, like Pokemon you guys love, all right? And below down comments, I love to know which Pokemon is your favorite. Mine is uh, Bulbasaur, Charizard obviously, and Pikachu, and what else do I love? Squirtle, I love Squirtle. And for the ha hands, what I did here, I just try to give a proper shape from the shoulder. Then I went to for the like wrist, for the hand where it should go. Then 
in between you guys can like have an idea where to work and where to skip all right as you can see i just went for the shoulder then for the wrist then in between you guys it automatically come to you where you need to work and guys i have seen some few like my students my friends who work in zeros they try to pull the mesh hard guys uh this mesh doesn't have feelings so you guys can push or pull as hard you guys want to it doesn't mind it doesn't bother it doesn't get bothered all right so do it better so just try tweeting it up moving it up really hard like more than it could nothing will happen if something destroyed something goes wrong you have always one option go back and do if you can't do undo if you have like uh, lost the history no problem you can go into your lightbox and you can have your uh, recent sorry quick saves in quick save you will find what what have you lost but remember do not delete anything if you guys are working continue working once you delete bye bye you you're not going to get back that yeah still you have the option to get back from the um, quick saves there is one technique i want to like explain you guys that will help you really big time i struggled at the first i didn't knew so once i get to know that i share this knowledge with every one of my friends who who work in zebrush some of them already knew but that's not that's not a problem who wants to know they are they glad all right um first thing once i start on i will start show on the lex i will i will discuss on that and there is one more thing i want to show you guys today how did i make wings all right that's quite like interesting with that technique you guys can do multiple things this shoulder blade like would i give here it's not for show it is it mean here i need it in landmark where his wings gonna stay so that's the landmark for the wings all right here i want to show you something a uh, good really good technique as usual like as usual what i do here i just pull the mesh from the top and the end then i work in between but here you guys can do one thing i have seen so many people are struggling making a close mesh like uh, as you can see his legs are way way close to like uh, foot to thigh all right so what i do here i just keep it uh, in different poly groups all right then then what you can do you can hide the other poly group all right if you for an example you guys are working on his calves all right but his thighs will come in between as you can I'll, i'll show you guys what i mean here now you can see i'm working on his thighs and calves all right let me go through there how long and now now what i mean here i'll just quickly make a poly group all right this will help me to make calves foot or thighs 
or anything like if you have an your character is posed like uh, he's having like um, what is it? flexing his bicep for an example right so his forearm and his uh, bicep will be way too close and if you want to add a detail keep do this technique you see here it's good enough but if you want to make it more more much better than this you guys can spend a little bit more time and you guys you guys can have it like more detailed one but for the video i i don't want to drag it way too long so every time i need to have like shortcuts where what i can do here and this is for nails i didn't want to push um, nails from his foot because it's in um, no position to do that all right the foot so what I did here I just add one sphere from the below I just dig some mesh and on top I just add some with the pinch brush I have creases or like give it a little bit shape of cloth then I just uh, like Give them a proper positions then i add it here all right that looks much better then i need to work on the middle one that's much better now what i did here i just add a little bit mesh here on the top of the cloth then give a like um, detail on that that's it now you can see i couldn't do that so i need to add subdivision and i did that as you can see on right top corner then I just add some details that's it then I'm merge them then I did a mirror and now with mirror what I'm gonna do here I'm mirroring it but in a separate sub tool all right so I can give a position different right it's as you can see it's already a asymmetrical pose This whole character is asymmetrical. There is nothing like symmetry except the face, obviously. Now, I don't want to add the same claws here, so I just did here same like what I what I wanted to do on the foot. So I did it just on his hands. All right, for the final time, I'm going to just give a proper shape for the shoulders and I'm going to check for the body language. How is it? Is it good enough to work like further? Then if I find something need to be tuned up like a change or edit, I do that. Then I move on. Now for the tail, tail is quite easy to make. You just need to add Z sphere, then hit A for that. Then you just need to polish it, relax. Then just give it a proper shape. If you don't need to, then then just don't. I do need it here to make a proper shape. Then I did it here. That's it. Then I add a flame. Now for the flame, what I did here, I just add a sphere. Then I work on. The sphere with the snake hook brush you can have it that in b s h for the snake hook brush then what i did i active the sculptor pro here then i scaled it like pushed it the mesh the way i wanted to here i tried to add multiple like uh, flames but uh, you can do whatever you like guys that's uh, completely up to you all right now if you have a big size brush it will like have like bigger triangles all right if you have a smallest triangle it will give you much 
much uh, like dense mesh all right and it will go smooth I'll suggest you guys to do one thing once you're done with your pulling and doing whatever you guys need to do do come to deformation and do polish all right this is the wings which I need to show you that this is the second thing I want you to guys know what I did here I just had a uh, plane I did subdivide four times then I draw whatever I needed then I extrude sorry I hide the what part I don't want they delete them then add a uh, extrude to them then shape with the like um, whatever you guys want to do all right here I just start with the curve all right in trans master not trans master that gizmo gizmo have their options all right you guys can work with that and if you guys want to have a separate video for that um, like like gizmo these options just let me know I'll do it I'll do make that video now for the wings complete wings what I did here I just add plane and I went to the like um, initialize just go over there and make with the lowest like 222 Q grid that will be it then give the um, like uh, corners where it should be then add edge loops then give a proper shape all right this is what I feel like it's the best option. It will take some time, but give, believe me, it will give you the best result if you wanted to do like uh, this way. If you guys have some like any other like uh, techniques you guys have, please do let me know. I love to hear your ideas. So just let me know whatever you guys have any different ideas in this. Or if you guys tried this and it works for you, please do let me know. Here just I did a proper shape for the uh, wings all right nothing special nothing like that once I'm done with it I just add extrude for the whole thing for whole that yeah in between what I did I did add bevel all right here and here and here that's it now what you can do you can add a little bit thickness on that bevels to show that there is a bone all right that's looking much better you can subdivide then move brush will work here really really good and once you're done just merge them together and place on the Charizard itself Now, the shoulder blade which we made earlier, the landmarks, this is why we added here. All right. Now, I'm going here with the reference. You guys can do as you like. It can be more bigger than this or it can be smaller. It's up to you guys. Now that's looking good to me. Then I need to add some, uh, what do you say, the details for the foot. As you can see, there, there is some cracks and there is some rubble here. So what I did here, I just uh, basically I made a Q mesh, like Q cube. I added here, then I didn't like this concept, honestly, because it looks weird enough. Then I add one cylinder, then I, what, I hide those. The top and bottom then I delete them then I close holes with that option then yeah I scale basically I try to make a cone and why I did delete that uh, top side and bottom because if you want to add something on that it won't be better it will give you some kind of uh, like uh, unexpected artwork so it's not a good idea to work that with that basically so whenever you want to do something on the base it's better to delete always the top and bottom triangles. If you have something cords or some other mesh, it will work with this kind of triangles. If it's center point triangle, it's not a good idea to work with that. All 
now here just I'm adding randomly nothing like concept then I feel like why don't I just go and have some like, basic detail mm, that was fine that's not that's not a good idea but that's okay I tried some random brushes I didn't like that even the end as like I was I would say it's still once I'm finished with that, I didn't like that as well. So as you can see, it's up to you. You guys can work as you like. What I did here, I just add some like, basically I just duplicate them. And if you want to have select one specific sub tool which is already in group just have a little bit of it then control shift x will increase the complete sub tool by slow step by step but that's fine now what i did here i just crease the edges then i add subdivisions for that then i need to add some kind of artwork here that basically just trying to give a depth of the child's of weight Obviously, it is a dragon, so obviously there will be some sand or like, what do you say, the ground should be cracked. So that's what I did here. Once you're done with that, you can move it, you can do whatever you like. Add the same for the another leg, then you can move it. Then I wanted to add a random like um, sand move, like whatever the, those things you call, I don't know. So I just did that. Then I need to like have some blood splash all over that area. So I did this, all right then yeah that's it then i need to color it guys if you still watching this video you should like comment and do subscribe if you're not and don't forget to hit that bell icon okay whenever i upload you guys will get to know my first like you will you will be first to watch that video if you wanted to Now what I did here, I just select the base color for the child lizard and that's why I had a second uh, reference. Now what I did here, I just select that color and I was adding two whole sub tools here. And if you don't know how I'm doing here, there is an like custom, I kept the bu button here, fill object. If you don't know where is it, it's in color on top right. Over there, there is an option color, then you will see fill object same button over there now how am i painting if some someone is new he doesn't know or she doesn't know how to do that it's a uh, select any brush like a standard brush i prefer a standard brush then hit the space bar and if you will see there is a rgb enable that and disable z add or z sub and keep your um, RGB level up to 100. So with that, you can paint like this. And not only you guys can smooth the mesh, if you want to, you can do the, like uh, for the paint itself also. If you want to blend or if you want to do something different, you guys can do that. Now I want to add paint, that's it and that's it guys. See you in the next video.